in rural areas, the infrastructure you would need for a terrestrial network is sometimes not economical. You would need to connect cell phone towers hundreds or thousands of kilometers over mountains or potentially crossing rivers and seas. Loon has decided to take a terrestrial infrastructure and sort of lift it up to the stratosphere. Taking the most essential components, that is the antennas, and putting them on a balloon. In 2013, we did our first proof of concept test in New Zealand. A lot of the equipment was early prototype. It certainly was not a solution that you could scale up to millions of people. After the New Zealand experiment, we focused now on a scalable, deployable, uh, worldwide solution. First, we needed a very reliable and robust high-throughput link to the existing internet. We beam that signal up to the balloon through ground stations where the terrestrial internet network sort of ends and loon starts, connecting the telcos up to the balloon. The balloon is not stationary, it's actually moving across the sky, so you need your antennas to be tracking that balloon continually and to be a high-throughput, reliable link. Once you get the data from the ground station up into the balloon, you need to connect multiple balloons in a chain in order to get the signal to where it needs to go. Sometimes hundreds or thousands of kilometers away from the ground station. So the balloon-to-balloon -balloon links are a really critical element of the loon network. You can't string fiber between balloons, so the next best thing is to just beam the signal using lasers. You have these two free-floating platforms that are kind of swaying and bobbing uh, freely. A dance, if you will, between the two balloons where the two lasers are trying to keep the beams uh, locked onto each other um, as they drift in the sky. Everything has to be so precise and well-aligned to be able to provide reliable and robust connections. We've established gigabit per second connectivity between the balloons up in the stratosphere, hundreds of kilometers apart. Getting the signal down to the user. We're using LTE, so you could just use the same mobile devices used today to get service whenever there's a loon balloon floating by. All of this technology coming together will ultimately allow someone who could be thousands of kilometers away from the nearest ground infrastructure to have access to the internet.